All right, guys, if you're here from the last video when we updated our equalizer on our wet bolts, thanks for tuning into the next video. Or if you're here just for us to repack these wheel bearings and you were interested in the equalizer, feel free to check out our last video. And that got us to this point. get started on pulling these hubs and getting these bearings repacked. All right guys, so if you are not updating your suspension system like we were, you're gonna be starting fresh and you're gonna be pulling off your tires and that will get you to this point. And now we're gonna take these dust covers off and start taking this hub apart. And I just like to use a flathead. These are very pliable, so be careful. Barely tap it in there to break the seal and work it around. There we go. And you're going to have a retention clip right here. And you want to keep all this clean. So grab a box to put everything in. Pop the clip. I'm going to reuse it, so be gentle. That just comes off there. And then you're going to have a castle nut which is just gonna spin off. Save all these parts. Behind the castle nut is a washer. I pop that guy out. If it doesn't come out, you can loosen the hub, pull on the hub, and it'll work its way forward. The front bearing is also right behind it, so that's gonna wanna push out with it. Be very careful not to drop that in the dirt because you don't wanna get sand or particles into the bearing itself. So we're going to keep this very clean and we're going to clean it up. Okay, wrap it up, save it. So we're going to clean that guy up and we're going to pull the whole hub. All right. And shake out all the dust. Your back bearing is in here and we'll pull that guy in a minute. All right, to pull the seal, we have a seal puller. You can use this flathead or whatever, but this is the right tool for it. And you're just going to get behind the seal and these are going to have to be replaced, so ahead of time, make sure you get the right bearing seal. Because these are going to get damaged. And that's out. So this guy's garbage. And we're going to pull the back bearing out. And protect it. Wrap it up to clean it and repack it. So we're going to clean out all this grease, inspect everything, clean off these brakes. It's really important not to get any grease in the drum itself because this is where your pads interact with the drum and if you have grease on there it's not going to help with your stopping power. All right, this is where some brake cleaner is going to come in handy. At this point you want to inspect your spindle, make sure there's no gouges or burns or any major defects in it. If a bearings went bad, make sure it's nice and smooth and clean. And also on the inside of your drum, your races where the bearings run, make sure those don't have gouges or burn marks or any type of deterioration, otherwise you'd have to replace those as well. So just inspect everything, make sure everything looks good before you put it all back together. Repacking your bearings is something you're probably going to want to do about once a year. It's very important because if they wear out, you're going to have a failure, potential failure of your, your hubs. And nobody wants that when you're heading down the highway. So while we have the drum off, we might as well check our brakes. And that's this little handy tool right here. I'll leave a link for all the stuff below. All you got to do is come inside your drum and loosen this nut. And put the two pieces there. Tighten that guy down, and then come to the other side, and put it across your pads, and if you got some play there, you want to adjust those drums a bit. So well, here we have probably a quarter of an inch, so we're going to open that up a little bit. And all you're going to want to do 
take a flathead screwdriver. Normally you would do this from behind, but since we're here in the front, there's a little adjustment screw right down here that you're just going to spin and it's going to open those pads up a bit. And don't do too much. Check your gauge. You probably got a little bit more. No. Not too much. But that should be good right there. So, now let's repack our bearings and get everything put back together. So pretty much now we're just making sure all the parts are clean and in good order and we'll re-grease them and put them back. So next step is cleaning the bearings. We'll start with the back one. Get all the old grease off. Now if by chance you need any of these part numbers because they're bad, you can always find them right on the inside once you clean them off. <laughs> right, you got little numbers on your bearings or you could take this into a part store if you need to replace this guy. And you're just going to make sure everything is good, there's no burn marks, no pitting, gouging, uh, all the metals in good shape so this one looks pretty good once we clean it up. Brake cleaner is your friend. Alright, so now we're going to repack our bearing. And there's tools for this as well. I just don't have one. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way. And we're going to take a glob of high temperature. Make sure you get the right grease for your application. These, uh, these need the high temperature grease. And you're basically just going to force into this crack here. You're going to force push down and pull away and you'll note see the top where the old grease is coming out once it's saturated that black stuff coming out the top so that is full right there and you're just going to keep moving around push down and pull away push down pull away until you see good grease coming out the top where the bearing is going to sit and again be mindful not to get any grease on the drum because that's where your pads are on all right we're going to set this bearing in cone shaped side in You'll notice that there. You'll notice that the bearing's got a bevel to it, so the skinnier side goes in. Just like that. And we're gonna put new seals on the back. All right. So now that we have the bearing in place, we're gonna put the seal back. This is a new one. You always want to get new ones because they're typically damaged when you take them out. You're gonna seat it in. Put it in place. And there is a tool for this as well, but uh, you know, a flat piece of wood that doesn't have any dirt on it, you don't want any dirt getting in there. So you just seat it there and then just tap it evenly. Completely 
flush in the back. Just like that. All right, we're just gonna throw some grease on our spindle here. Get this all greased up. So when you got good coverage, we're going to throw the hub back on. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to crease the front bearing, same as we did the back, and put that press together. Right, just repeat the process for the front bearing. Alright, once you have your outer bearing pack, same thing, the flared side goes in, and you're just going to press it in there until it seats. Alright, you're going to take your washer, make sure that has a little grease on it, where it touches the bearing. Grease is our friend. Slide that in. Next is going to be your castle nut. Put that back on. The trick with the castle nut is that you're going to tighten it all the way. Make sure you have no play in your hub, it's seated tight, doesn't rattle. And then you're going to back it off about a quarter turn. Like so, so that your wheel spins freely. And last step here is you're going to put this retaining clip back on. Keep that castle nut from backing off. Then we're going to put our dust cover back on. We're going to put our dust cover back on, just give it a light tap. And lastly, I like to pump a little bit more grease in there while the wheel is in the air. Put your dust cover back on, grab it. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Be sure to keep on top of your RV maintenance. Uh, things won't end up becoming larger problems for you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share it with somebody else who has an RV, and follow along on the rest of our journeys. Thanks, guys.